ریسنگ کلائمرز محمد علی ستپارا و پاکستان آئیس لینز جون سنوری اور چلیز ہوان پیبلو مور ہیو بین افیشلی ڈیکلیر ڈیڈ تری کلائمرز ہو ٹرائیڈ تو سمیٹ کے ٹو ان ونٹر ہیو بین ڈیکلیر ڈیڈ بائی افیشلز دی ونٹ مسنگ ان فیبیوری نیر دا ٹاپ آف دا ورلڈ سیکنڈ ہائیسٹ ماؤنٹن دا یئر از ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی ون این دا منتھ فیبیوری The vast, majestic expanse of K2, the world's second-highest mountain, stands tall and silent. Unlike Everest, which has been scaled by thousands, K2's summit has been reached by a fraction of that number. The reason? Its treacherous terrains, unpredictable weather conditions, and the sheer technicality of the ascent make it one of the most challenging climbs in the mountaineering world. It is in this backdrop that the tragic event of three mountaineers happened. These three individuals dared to dream beyond the ordinary, beyond the bounds of reason even. Ali Sadpara from Pakistan, John Snorri from Iceland, and J.P. Moore from Chile. Hailing from Pakistan, Ali Sadpara was not just another mountaineer. He was an emblem of dedication and tenacity. Born in the mountainous region of Pakistan, Sadpara had made a mark in the mountaineering world with significant achievements, including successful ascents of several 8,000-meter peaks. Alongside him was his son, Sajid Sadpara. This wasn't just a journey to the top of the world's second-highest mountain. It was a shared dream between father and son, a testament to their bond and shared passion for mountaineering. From the cold landscapes of Iceland came John Snorri, a mountaineer with a burning ambition that matched the fiery geysers of his homeland. Snorri was no stranger to K2. He had previously summited this colossal peak, a testament to his skill and determination. But this expedition was not about retracing familiar paths. His aim was distinct, born out of a blend of national pride and personal ambition. Snorri was driven by the desire to become the first Icelander to climb K2. During its harshest season, winter beyond the sea-zoned climbers from the east and the north, the expedition had an unexpected addition. J.P. More Prieto, an architect from Chile, might have seemed an unlikely candidate for such a formidable challenge. But beneath the surface lay a mountaineer with a unique mission. Moore was not just climbing for the thrill of it. He had set his sights on a monumental challenge, to ascend all 14 of the world's 8,000-meter peaks. And he intended to do this without the aid of supplemental oxygen or the guidance of Sherpas. It was a goal that spoke of not just ambition, but also an indomitable spirit and a deep respect for the raw essence of mountaineering. Together, these three individuals, each distinct in their backgrounds and motivations, united in their quest to conquer K2 in winter, a journey that would forever link their destinies. To the world of mountaineering, K2, especially in winter, represents the ultimate challenges. Firstly, winter in K2 is brutal. The intense cold not only threatens lives, but also severely hampers the body's ability to function with each step becoming a test of endurance. Yet, it's not just the cold that poses a challenge. Before the tragic attempt of our three mountaineers, only a team of tenacious Nepalese Sherpas had successfully summited K2 in winter. Their achievement underscores both the enormity of the challenge and the sheer skill and determination required to overcome it. Additionally, K2's technical climbing challenges such as the notorious bottleneck, become even more perilous in winter. When the team of climbers, including Ali Sadpara, John Snorri, J.P. Moore Prieto, and Sajid Sadpara began their ascent of K2, there was a strong sense of unity. They shared jokes and encouraged one another when the climb got tough. Every base camp they reached was a small victory celebrated by all. Just as they were navigating the icy terrains and treacherous paths, a crucial piece of equipment malfunctioned. Sajid Sadpara, Ali's son, faced a major setback. 
his oxygen regulator failed. Oxygen is vital at those altitudes, where the air is thin and every breath can feel like a luxury. Recognizing the severity of the situation, the team had to make a heart-wrenching decision. Sajid had to turn back. It wasn't just about the climb anymore. It was about safety. While one member retreated, the other two, Ali, Snorri, and Moore, pressed on. With the summit in their sights, they faced the challenges head-on, drawing strength from each other. They tackled steep inclines, navigated narrow ridges, and braved the cold that only intensified with each ascending step. It was a test of their will, skill, and determination, a journey they continued, hoping to etch their names in mountaineering history. Mountains, with all their majesty, can also be silent keepers of secrets. As Ali, Snorri, and Moore neared the summit of K2, communication lines, which had buzzed with regular updates, suddenly went cold. The trio, who had been sending signals of their progress, were now inexplicably silent after they were reported being close to the summit. For those at the base camp and across the mountaineering world, it was like a radio suddenly losing its signal. In the midst of this silence, one can only imagine the anguish of Sajid Sadpara, who had previously retreated from the ascent. From his position at Camp 3, he kept an anxious vigil, hoping for any sign or communication from his father and teammates. Days felt like weeks in the cold and uncertainty. But after two gut-wrenching days of waiting with a heavy heart and no news, Sajid made the difficult decision to descend. The mountaineering community, known for its close-knit bonds and mutual respect, swiftly responded to this alarming situation. Rescuers, along with experienced climbers, jumped into action. Helicopters scanned the snow-blanketed slopes, while teams on the ground navigated the treacherous paths, looking for any trace of the missing climbers. The hope was to find them sheltered somewhere, waiting for rescue. However, despite their tireless and dedicated efforts, the mountain remained silent, and the fate of the trio remained an enigma. Months passed after the tragic ascent, turning the fierce winter into a more forgiving summer. The once snow-choked paths of K2 thawed, allowing new expeditions to make their mark. Among them was Ukrainian guide Valentin Sipovan embarking on what he believed to be a regular summer climb. But what lay ahead was a discovery that would send ripples across the mountaineering community. As Sipovin's team maneuvered through a particularly challenging section near the summit, they stumbled upon a somber sight. Two bodies, frozen in time. With a sinking feeling, the team recognized them as Ali Sadpara and John Snorri, not far from them, J.P. Moore's body was also identified. The location of their final resting place, so close to the summit, painted a tragic picture of climbers who had come tantalizingly close to their dream, only to be defeated at the very end. Yet amidst the snow and silence, a glint caught the eye of the rescuers. A GoPro camera, a silent witness to the trio's final hours, the hope was that this tiny piece of technology held answers to the numerous questions swirling around their disappearance. But nature's fury had taken its toll on the device as well. Only one image remained intact, a haunting glimpse that provided no closure, only a reminder of the unpredictable nature of mountaineering. The discovery brought a tragic closure to the months of uncertainty and speculation. The mountain had unveiled its secret, but in its wake left a tale of bravery, ambition, and the ultimate sacrifice. In the aftermath of such a heart-rending tragedy, the world was left with many questions. Winter Summit, a documentary film, sought to shine a light on these lingering shadows. The production wasn't just another mountaineering film. It was a tribute, a quest for understanding, and perhaps a search for closure. Central to the narrative was Sajid Sadpara, the young mountaineer who had shared his father's dream and faced the unbearable weight of loss. 
Accompanied by Delia Sakele, a passionate Canadian filmmaker, Sajid made a poignant return to K2. The documentary offered much more than scenic shots of K2's daunting beauty. Through interviews, footage, and on-ground exploration, it painted a vivid picture of the challenges faced by the climbers, the emotional turmoil of the waiting days, and the harrowing reality of mountaineering at its most extreme. In the silent expanse of K2, these three men undertook a journey that was heavier than any mountaineering expedition. The story of Ali, Snorri, and Moore isn't just a tale of tragedy, but a reflection of this undying spirit, this unwavering commitment to chase dreams, no matter the cost.